All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays back in some more Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. So today, guys, we're trying out a sick, brand new, big ass mod pack. We have five new variations for a single new character. The GT Goku is coming back, but as you can see, which I don't understand why they installed in like separate slots, but whatever, it makes it look really cool. I guess because they do have like different move sets and like a bunch of different crazy things with it. That's why it ended up being separate slots. But we have the original variation of GT Goku that can go from Super Saiyan One, Two, and Three. And, of course, we have Super Saiyan 4, which looks awesome. Now, this one is really cool because he still has the bottom half of his gi on. So, he still has, like, the belt and everything kind of hanging off. It looks really sick. And, you know, he's got that nice texture and skin tone. We also have Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan God. So, this is kind of like a what if GT Goku attained God key within GT. So, this is what it would look like. And he's got, like, the tail and everything, too, which, look at that. The moving tail, and it's got, like, the nice... I guess a uh, little like fold over and stuff with the actual gi from the back. That's really cool how it kind of, you know, has those physics more than anything. And of course, the mastered ultra instinct form looks beautiful. Damage uniform from GT. Wow, this is blowing me away. Now, if you guys want to know who created this, it's the homie retry. He came back at it again with some amazing sick mods. They look beautiful and I am so ready to jump into it. But before we do, my friends, do me a massive favor and smash that like button. Let's try to reach 15 likes on this video. That'd be so amazing and I'd really appreciate it. Plus, sure that you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 content on this channel, as well as a continuation of the mod series and just dope stuff like these. So, we're going to go ahead and use this variation here with the normal moveset. Now, like I said, he goes to Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3. And what character do we want to fight? Do we want to fight uh, maybe. Let's fight the kid version of ourselves. I don't know why. I think it would just be kind of funny just to do it. So, we're going to go ahead and go to a little random stage here. I'm thinking Planet Tuffle because I'm feeling it, all right? You know, you got to feel the Planet Tuffle every now and then. But, yeah, I do want to showcase every single form, transformation, whatever you want to call it. Now, uh, he can't actually transform into the god and the blue or whatever. But, you know, he has those at least as separate slots. And I know people are going to be like, oh, my God, it's going to be the DLC for freaking Dimps. We're back at it again. Please, no, kill me. But, yeah, I understand, you know. So, uh, basically, it's going to be probably, like, the same Goku move set, the normal stuff going on. On. So just think of this as adult Goku that we're using, just normal Goku, with a nice costume change and skin tone change. Another really polished variation of him. I think we tried one uh, a while back, and we did it against Oob and everything, and it was super cool. I love the version and the hair that uh, my boy went for. I think it was Deliance that actually created it. So normal moveset, Meteor Crash, then, you know, the normal stuff, Kamehameha Wave. We also have uh, Instant Transmission, which we can just transmit and be like, hey, what up? What up, good boy? All right, Spirit Explosion. So I'm going to go ahead and get the key down to about normal here so that I can actually pull out the Super Kamehameha real quick and then go Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, and Super Saiyan 3. So you guys ready? Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Let's get it. Boom. All right, so Super Saiyan looking pretty good. Not going to lie. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Hopefully, we get the uh, SAB costumes with the Super Saiyan transformations with, like, God and everything. I think that'd be super sick. So Super Saiyan 2 going right off the bat here. Looking beautiful. Wow, look at that, man. Ooh, I like his skin tone right now. It's it's really nice. I don't know. Something about it, like that darker complexion. This man's looking good. He got the tan, everything going on, man. So let's go and charge this up here. Max out the key. Or not really max out, but get close to maxing out. And then we got Super Saiyan 3. Oh, yeah. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, man. I haven't really seen too much Super Saiyan 3 recently. Even in, like, Legends, Dragon Ball Legends, which I need to get back on the grind with that since the new banner came out and everything. Probably going to skip the banner just because uh, it's not a trap banner at all. But I know uh, because it is Step Up, I will be consuming a lot of stones if I do end up going on it. So that's why I'm probably going to hold off. I'm going to actually focus on some of the missions and do some uh, gameplay of the new Gogeta event. Because there's a new like variation of it on hard mode that I do want to show you guys. So get excited for that later today if I can actually pull it off and get it ready for you guys. Because we have the max out for ranks uh, at like level 2000 or something, which is pretty nuts. So... There you have it. That's pretty much all I wanted to showcase for the Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3 variation. We got to finish it off with the Dragon Fist. You already know it. Now let's go ahead and move on. Super Saiyan 4. So I actually found this cool looking variation with a full on costume on. So I decided why not showcase this one. So no transformations. Got pretty much the same moveset except for uh, Super Dragon Fist. And, of course, the times 10 Kamehameha, which is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that red effect going on. Absolutely amazing. But I love the costume on this. It's cool to see GT Goku Super Saiyan 4 variation with this clothing, like, full on. Like, it looks pretty beautiful. I'm not going to lie. Now, one thing I do want to check is 
So wristbands. Let me make sure that those are the same color. They are. Okay. I thought they were white for a second. I guess because it was the glare or whatever. But yeah, that kind of like threw me off. I was like, no, I don't want the white wristbands, man. Don't give me that because he's got the white belt and everything. Thought it was actually like changed that way. But this looks awesome, man. I am loving it. We got the super dragon fist. Boom! Explosion after image strike. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? <laughs> I'm back over here. Super Kamehameha! Look at how immaculate that looks. I love it. I love it. I love it. Dragon Fist Explosion. Let's get it. Dragon Fire! So that's pretty much it for the Super Saiyan 4 version. Again, you know, pretty basic stuff. Nothing too crazy in terms of moveset and skill set. But let's go ahead and try out the God versions, which I know you guys were excited to see. Yo, that looks nice, dude. I love GT Goku with the God form. This looks beautiful. He's got the tail and everything, too. Like, this is cool looking, man. This really is cool. It's something that, like, I don't think I've ever seen on Xenoverse 2. Like, it's just crazy somebody made this. And Retry, he did a really nice job. It's a simple little el edit and everything. And it's, it's just beautiful. Got normal Kamehameha Wave. We got the Super God Fist, which is just a fun move to use every now and then. You know, we got to have it. Key Blast Cannon. That nice effect going on. It was like... The precursor to the Soaring Fist. You already know the Soaring Fist, the good stuff. Super Kamehameha Wave and the Super Spirit Bomb. So they're going to have their respective moves that the normal forms do have, but it's like a costume change. It's like a full-on costume change. It looks beautiful. Let me see this damage on this man. Super Spirit Bomb. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Explosion. I love it. That is amazing. All right. Let me get that explosive wave. Oh, yes. Break that stamina. And go in hard. Now, I just noticed that his tail is kind of like a purplish color. Are you guys noticing that for the God form? Uh, I mean, not the God form, but like the, the Super Saiyan Blue version. This one, it's like his tail looks normal, but that one, I guess because of the aura, it makes it look kind of purple. Are you seeing that? That is crazy, dude. All right, it's going to finish this off with the grab. Boom, 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 boom. Didn't really see any issues with the tail. Let me actually make sure. Did the tail actually stick out? It didn't, so the tail physics are really good. That's one thing that I do find out with uh, certain mods that I do showcase is the tail gets kind of screwed up, but go and try out the blue form now god that looks nice dude something about the blue form man with the clothing the synergy is on point i'm liking it man like all of them look just phenomenal they look fantastic the auras are really nice like i said it's just like mainly a really good polished costume change for these characters but they also have the skin tone change too which i'm noticing and of course you know full on like the tail and everything too so it's like there's a lot of good stuff in this man so we get the Burst Kamehameha, which is the effect that we get as a Super Saiyan Blue. Because we get that second like little hit that goes on. So you get that first one, and you can blast the super longer one at the very end, which is kind of cool. I like that. You know, it just like disperses like immensely. And then we have the Instant Transmission. Hello, Spirit Explosion. And this one has Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken. Are you kidding me, dude? I didn't even notice that. Yo, let's freaking go, dude. I didn't even notice that. Oh, my goodness. I thought all of them didn't have any transformations, but... My boy Retry comes through, okay? He always comes through and he makes some super polished stuff, man. Super thankful that he actually made this. Are right, you guys ready? Kayo! Ken! <laughs> that is beautiful. All right, times 10! Oh my goodness. Look at the power. Fight the power. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, all right. That, that was great. <laughs> Sometimes I don't understand why that move doesn't actually work. Oh, the big explosion. It's the biggie! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, what a beauty, man. This looks awesome. I'm having fun with this one. Oh, oh, -hoo -hoo! Warp Command, man. One, two, three. And there you have it, my friends. That's pretty much it for the God form in blue. And, you know, Kyle Kim, we gotta have the Kyle Kim blue. What an overly powered transformation. All right, my friends, this is the ultimate battle. Are you guys ready? GT, Ultra Instinct Goku style with the sick clothing versus the overpowered immense amazing gargantuan <laughs> omega shenron super villain i just want to see how this plays out we're probably going to get completely wrecked but we got to go to planet vegeta for this one just because i feel like the colors are really nice on this stage sometimes you know we always go through like the blue colors i'm i don't get me wrong i love blue i love blue is my favorite color but you know some of that red effect it, it, it shines off nicely on these and this is the stage to be with that white we already have the blue effect going on I think this would be a sick 1v1 that we got for my boy can Ultra Instinct, man. Let's see this. Pa, 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 pa. See, you thought you were going to get me, but you did. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. We got the Kamehameha Wave, like natural, a meteor crash. We also have the Soaring Fist, which is beautiful. I'm going to charge this up. But I'm glad he does have the max charge. 
helps a lot. Uh, maybe Surging Spirit would have been better on this character, but again, I didn't want to alter the moveset a little bit too much, just because I wanted to, you know, keep the respective moveset that he already had. So it's going to go for that Soaring Fist. Oh my god. Dude, he's getting me good right now. Are you ready for this? Oh, 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 oh. Boom. Look at that. That is what you truly call fight the power. All right, let's see. You going to come get me? That's right, boy. That's right. Oh, get him from behind. You thought you got me. Let me see that Ultra Instinct effect. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. Okay, I want to try and go for a stamina break. Perfect. Let's get this going here. Super Kamehameha Wave. Boom. All right, let's see if I can actually get this with a godly display, if possible, if it'll let me. What? <laughs> oh, God. He got me with the freaking stamina. No, dude. I was thinking, oh, okay, I got this. This is, this is all okay, man. But now he's, oh, he's smart. He's going all the way down there. He's trying to find where I'm going to land. He knows where I'm going. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. That nice effect. All right, my friends, we got to do one final match just because it's only fitting that we fight Super Baby 2 now that he's officially in the game from the last DLC. So this is going to be a sick fight. Hopefully it turns out good because all trains and Goku's coming through, dude. Look at this, man. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, whatever. for whatever reason, though, Omega Shenron one, I didn't really enjoy that one as much. I thought it was going to be a lot cooler. I just think because it went a little bit too quick. Plus, I didn't get to show off the godly display, which I'm going to try and do right here, right now. So, I'm going to charge up my key because godly display decides to use about 5,000 key bars. I don't know what's going on with that, but it is what it is. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Break that stamina. Perfect. Going for some hard heavy hits. Got to get that going on. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And then the godly display effect going on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, did he negate it? He tried to negate it, but that's okay. I can just keep going in. I love that Goku is so relentless with that move. He just goes in hard, and we blow it up, dude. I love that effect. Beautiful godly display, beautiful just costume variation, the colors, the skin tone, everything about it was amazing. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the full-on GT Goku showcase, new variations and transformations beautiful stuff so if you guys did enjoy it make sure to leave a like on this video and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already we got a ton of new content coming very soon for this game in terms of mods hopefully with you know the new patch and the update we'll get some more mods here pretty soon so stay tuned thanks again peace out take care have a great day my friends